Welcome back folks. In today's video, we are going to be installing Ubuntu 22.4 on our Windows machine. And uh, our requirements will be an Oracle VirtualBox for virtualization. And uh, we're going to need a minimum of 4 GB RAM, um, a minimum of um, 8 um, GB free storage. Also, we will need at least two core processor, an active internet connection, and of course, the Ubuntu ISO image. So let's get started. So what you want to do is go to your internet browser and type in Ubuntu download all. So the, it takes you to Ubuntu de desktop download link and then uh, you click on this link right here. I'm going to include it in the description on this video. I already have it downloaded in my computer so I'm going to cancel out of this. Also you want to download the Oracle VirtualBox. So you just uh, type in Oracle VirtualBox download and you hit the download link and this for the Windows machine this is a direct link here and once again I'm going to put that in my description and because I also have it downloaded I'm not going to go through that in this video so you go into the folder where you have it downloaded and hit the virtual box it's a very quick install and you click next next and next so oracle virtual box 7.0 and 1.4 is the latest version and that's what we are downloading right now so you hit finish and uh, cancel out of this okay and this screen appears so if you had um, the virtual box already and with some machines installed some virtual machines installed it lines up here like you can see I already have one installed here so I'm gonna I'm gonna have this one removed and I'm gonna install a fresh Ubuntu. So what you want to do is hit the new and type in what you would like to call your machine. Let's call it Ubuntu. And uh, this folder right here is where you would like it to be installed on your machine. I'm going to leave it as default. And the ISO image which you had earlier downloaded from the Ubuntu site it's what you're gonna have installed here and that's it right there for me and you hit next so right now it's showing me that I already have it installed and I cannot override the machine folder so what I'm gonna do if that shows up in your case is to go is if you click on it it's gonna show you where exactly it is that Ubuntu is housed in your machine. So it's under the C drive, under users, admin, the VirtualBox DM and Ubuntu. Let's go there quickly and take care of that. So we want to go to the PC and the C drive and the users, admin and the VirtualBox VMs and you see this file sitting right there so let's get rid of it and get rid of the files and
continue so so now we hit next we don't have that problem anymore so this is the, the default username and uh, in my case I'm just gonna change you can call it whatever you want to call it and this is the default um, password we're gonna leave the password the default password just for training purposes you can change the host name if you want here right here but um, after doing all this you hit next and uh, the machine automatically shows you how much memory you have and how much you can spare so this green area represents how far you can go we're just going to leave it at this point right here and for the cpu we're going to put it right here which is a a four cpu and hit next next and finish so the first phase of the installation has been completed so the machine is powering up your um the virtual machine is powering up your your Ubuntu. Wait for a second while that happens. So you want to hit the try or install Ubuntu. Let's cancel out of these pop-ups. And Ubuntu takes a while to install between 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to be doing a lot of pausing to cut the video short, but in your situation, if, if it's taking a bit longer, it's totally fine. Here you have the welcome to Ubuntu screen as installation continues. So we have to now type in our password. It was changed me, my situation, and uh, here we are. So all you have to do now is just skip, skip, next. Next. and Ubuntu is installed. So whether you're using the desktop desktop version or you're using the server version, what you want to do is update your software. And how do you do that? You go to terminal. This is how you get the terminal. You either right click here and open terminal or you go here and go down here to the app bar and click terminal. And the terminal opens up. So you can see the name of your computer Ubuntu and your username, the tech guy, in my case. So what happens is when you try to update sudo apt get update, it asks you for a password. And if I type in change me, it shows this error message and if you 
did an unattended installation of Ubuntu, you get an, you get this permission issue. So you, you, when you type in the password, this comes up. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Is this this is caused because the user is not part of the sudo group yet. We just need to add it to the group. So you want to log in as a sudo user, and how do you do that? Typing in su as a root user and type in the password. So now you're the root user and that's indicated by the root that's written here. And, and since it says the tech guy is not in the sudo in the sudo file, you want to add the your account, in my case it's the the the, the tech guy to user and how do you do that? You just add user the tech guy to sudo and now it says it's adding user and the user is added so we're gonna give read permissions to the owner and the group if you don't know what um, permissions are in Linux don't worry I'm gonna make a video where I'm going to go deep into that. So for now, just type chmod, which is chain mode 440 for the etc directory and sudo user sudo as and reboot your machine. So to reboot your machine. You go close this terminal out, go right here and restart. Type in your password. And go back to the terminal and let's try to update this time type in a password and you can see now that Ubuntu is updating so that problem has been solved so you can type in any command you want now and you can switch between the users you can go to the root user type in your password and you can go back to your user so one more step we have to do in the installation of ubuntu if you like you can see that when you increase this window the resolution is not big enough to fit the screen. I'm going to show you an easy way to fix that. So, so what you want to do is type this command sudo apt. I'm going to include it in the video build essential tkms linux it has Dollar sign, the name, and TTS. Why? So when that is done, you exit out and you go to the device over here and you go to the insert guest addition cds and it pops up right here you see it right here and when you hit it you go to you see all these folders and files here you want to go to the auto run dot sh and right click and run as a program Type in your password once again. I 
and the modules will be installed. So that has been added. Now you want to close out of the window and restart your machine. Some glitches happening here. Restart. Type in your password. And you see that when you hit the maximize button, the resolution is much better now. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching the video, and see you next time. Bye bye.